Hey guys, I wanted to say welcome to Laszlo's Vintage BBG. Here's a little story behind my 1954 MO35 barn door bus. Um, this is my buddy Jason. He went up with me to go and get my bus. My bus was all the way in Oregon. Um, this bus had been sold to a few other people before. It had been around. You know, a couple guys had owned it before and done a few things. Um, you know, it had been painted this way before. This is the original green paint to it, but it had been like lowered, turbocharged, all kinds of good stuff. Um, one of the reasons why I wanted this bus is because, you know, it all the rust had been done in it, meaning all the panels had been repaired. And to me, that was a huge thing. That's a lot of money, something I can't do. And so, I thought, you know, hey, if I can afford to buy it, I will buy it, you know, because those are things I can't do, but I can put the bus back together and do this and do that. Um, here's a couple pictures of me coming back, I believe, into California with it. Um, it was a big drive, I think, it was something like 14, 16 hours, you know, but it's worth it um wanted to say thanks to everybody who helped me out with that from my girlfriend to jason to chemo to bus works to everybody and anybody that had a helping hand in making this dream <clears throat> come true to me it's one of those things as you can see all the metal had been replaced the rockers the inner outers this is some cool pictures i found later this is my bus when it was originally discovered in portugal and uh, from the guy who bought it and actually shipped it over here. He bought that and the other high roof, which was pretty cool, showing the original safaris, the original paint, um, the original green. Uh, this is where the front had been replaced already. This is going to my friend Chemo's shop so we can do some body work on it. I didn't want to leave this green metal and I tried to think, well, what would be a cool color to put with it? So I started looking at uh, Volkswagen colors that I could do the bottom section and do some fatina maybe to the front because I knew that was going to be the hardest to cover up was that whole front end. Um, at this point, the bus isn't running or driving or anything. It's just there, you know, got it rolling. Here is a, one of the first pictures with some paint on it. This bottom color, I believe, is 1954 Java Green supposed to be on a bug but I thought the two colors went well together it's got a nice greenish blue tinge to it um, this bus pretty rare with this opening rear hatch it's a mo35 um, just something rare 54 barn door any kind of barn door any kind of Volkswagen bus at this time bay window anything they're just rare getting harder to find the price is going up um, just it's out of control, you know, and in one way, I'm, I'm super stoked that I have mine and I was able to do it, but it took years and years to save up to get it. I had to sell many other Volkswagens just to sacrifice to get the car. That's me at my friend's shop, you know, looking like I'm doing something. Um, what else? One of the things about these buses that a lot of people don't know is that these buses were made in germany obviously but they were ordered and sent to portugal and the reason why they were sent to portugal is that over there they shipped them all to portugal as panel vans so if you look at the bus closely there's vents up high in the back and vents down low when they got to portugal the customer who was buying the vehicle could say hey i want to have windows pressed in so if you look it looks like a combi those windows were actually pressed in with a machine at Volkswagen of Portugal. So they're not cut in like a camper, they're not welded in, they're actually metal pressed in, which is pretty bitchin'. Um, I was told they did, did that was because of the chicken tax that if it was a panel then they got a better deal when the shipping, they didn't have to pay as much as a, you know, as a combi. Picture of me and my girlfriend at Red Barn. Here's some pictures of the glass with the original Secure It logo, which is pretty cool. Couple more pictures of the bus at the beach. Um, just picking this back up, I believe. Yes. And on my way, hopefully, back home to get it all put back together, meaning the glass, all the headlights done, 
things like that. I mean, there was a lot of work. It wasn't very easy to do. Uh, the bus has a chrome pod, meaning where you put all your gauge and cluster at. Original Safaris, it has a pre-A Porsche 356 steering wheel. The shaft had to be changed to an earlier shaft to fit that because it has grooves on it. Um, nice picture in my back window that's from germany all the stickers are german this is a 1641 single port very nice motor for this pushes the bus right down the road i believe this is the first time i drove it this is by my house not even with the windows in i just i couldn't wait i just wanted to get it running and driving and down the road any way i could at least i had it registered so that was sort of cool um has a nice stance to it um it's got in the front, it's got the barn door beam, and then you do a conversion where you can actually put bug spindles on it and it drops at about three inches and uh, disc brakes, obviously. This picture is at the first show, I main show I took it to, which was Octo. Um, I did sell some stuff out of it, you know, not parts off of it, obviously, but sold some stuff. This is one of its first big debut, and I was super excited. Those are a couple of my friends, Robert, a couple other good guys, Sean back there, um, enjoying this show. Um, got a few nice pictures of me and my girlfriend and getting in the bus, leaving in the bus. It was just a very proud day for me um, to do this. I had, you know, saved up a lot of money and had to sell a lot of things I didn't want to have to sell to afford this bus, you know, but there's something about vintage cars, Volkswagens, whatever you're into, man, but being a part of them and letting them be a part of you, I, I feel like every old car has a soul, you know, and, uh, you know, to me, rebuilding a car, I think the bus knew what was going on. That's a picture of my 52 Switter. I think the bus was happy to be getting put back together, you know, um, you hear sometimes in some shows you probably watch where it says, oh, it was fighting me the whole time. This bus, man, just wanted to go back together. It just, it wanted to run. It wanted to be back on the road. Here's a picture of me driving it <clears throat> down the road. I'd like to go to the coast. I believe in this picture I was just maybe going out for a little cruise. Um... This next one coming up, this is back at my friend Jason's shop. He owns a company called Busworks. He did the motor install, tranny install, went through the wiring for me. I then took it back to him after to have the interior done. You'll see that coming up here soon. Um, on this, looks like either at his shop or driving back up for another show. Um, you'll see a picture of him here coming up. This is him working hard, you know, on the phone, just having some fun. But here's some of the details gone into the bus. This is the rear apron. Those holes are all dimple dyed. Um, I did that so it could help release some of the hot air from the header coming out and not bring that into the motor compartment. Here's a nice picture of the motor compartment. If you see all the aluminum up there, that's dimple dyed. But if you see over on the left side up in the top, you can see that's originally dimple dyed from the factory. So I thought I would drag that all in. And that was my influence to bring it on to the interior. Here's a few interior shots of what we did. Um, nice black vinyl all the way around. Um, sort of pulled the bus all in together. On the top, you'll see aluminum strip had that polished and scratched up at the same time, meaning uh, to make it look shiny and give it some stuff. This is a picture of the front where we sit, nice kick panels, 356 steering wheel, seat belts, Jeanberg shifter, a must. Um, the pod is a chrome pod, which was cool. It came out of a friend's bus, I didn't know that, called the Chromosexual, which I guess he had chrome pod, chrome bumpers, chrome everything. Now going back to the rear cargo area now, this is with the back seat in it. Um, seat belts, my girlfriend has a kid and want to make sure he's safe or anybody back there riding in it. Um, what else? Starting to see on top of the motor compartment, that black, that's all fully custom made. All those aluminum pieces, that's all full custom made. Everything in the interior is all one off. None of this is uh, store-bought stuff. It's all done by hand. Um, Jason did an amazing job. I had a little bit of help in there. 
um, did most of the ideas were up to me and he was able to put my ideas into what I was thinking. Uh, this was done from a friend of mine. He painted this great job here. That's my barn door on my 52. Here's some pictures of when I was getting ready to pick it back up after the interior was fully done up at Jason's shop. Um, you can see also the custom wheels. Those are Porsche Rudge knockoffs on the bottom, meaning the spinners. Those, a buddy of mine named Tom helped me out with uh, making a mold. I have the original iron ones, but they were just too heavy. And so my friend said, well, let's make a mold. And we made them out of nylon, like a skateboard wheel. And that seemed to work the best where they weren't too heavy, but they gave it a pretty bitchin' look, um, which I thought was cool. So here's the overall, you can see the aluminum, all the dimple dies on the interior, all that is custom done, one-off stuff. I thought, you know, make it industrial, make it like a machine, you know, raw, sort of give it that edge look to the bus. Um, also a little bit of outlaw style. That was my sort of whole goal. I eventually took the roof rack off the bus because I didn't really think it went with the look and the style that I was going for. Um, super stoked on how that came out on the interior. It's the only one that I know of that is like that. Um, I do like stock interior also, but for this bus, I had to go a different way. This is at In-N-Out, enjoying some nice food couple nice drives here taking it to the beach you know showing the bus like hey man just because you came from Oregon and Florida and Portugal and Germany let's let's take you to the beach let's have some fun me at the beach with the bus um, here's a nice picture of those Rudge knockoffs that were custom made pretty nice and um, leaving a small little show here in Ventura hanging out with a good friend named Reed that's his I believe 64, 65 at Foster Freeze. Me driving down the road, you know, just enjoying life, man. Like, it seems when you're you're driving your Volkswagen, you know, you can still think about some bad things, but enjoying life doesn't get much better unless you're doing it with maybe your girl or your kids or your family and your Volkswagen. To me, it's just such a good thing. This is uh, driving up to a nice show in Solving, California called meet in the middle my buddy eric leggins runs the show he does a great job and he's a pretty stand-up guy um he does the best he can this show is amazing they usually get at least a hundred volkswagens together up there i wish i would have did more pictures of it but i didn't my bus the 64 and that was a 67 pop top camper that i no longer have i had to sell that to recoup some money um this next picture coming up is at a small local show in Ventura. It's my girlfriend. Uh, coming up next is going to be Octo of this year when they did the bon Barn Door Gathering. This is one of the biggest shows ever in California. I believe they had like 78 or 76 barn doors together. This is mine, the blue and next to me is Sean. Behind me is Jason and another friend, uh, Dave me at the show this one normally i would go to these shows and sell but i just wanted to enjoy this time like you know they only do this show once every 10 to 12 years with the barn door gathering part of it so i thought you know this is going to be an experience i want to do it now and before i turn 60 or 70 for the next one and hopefully man i'll still be out there driving my barn door still be enjoying it and enjoying life here's a nice picture of a little bit of people hanging out nice picture of the steering wheel me driving it down the road the open safaris um this next picture that comes up a friend of mine posted up i didn't even have it this was at octo sort of cool seeing my my bus in a different view girlfriend and me this was the last show of this year we did uh, it was a toys for tots from uh s SDK Stout DeRozan. They did a toy drive, pretty awesome. You know, you bring a couple of toys. It helps to give to kids that are less fortunate. But I wanted to say thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching Laszlo's Vintage BBG. Have a beautiful day.